In order to complete a reading assignment on time, Terry planned to read 90 pages per day. However, she read only 75 pages per day at first, leaving 690 pages to be read during the last six days before the assignment was to be completed. How many days in all did Terry have to complete the assignment on time? So let's say D is the number of days that she has. And so according to her plan, if she read 90 pages a day for D days, she would finish the total number of pages. So that means the total number of pages N must equal 90 times D. Instead, she read for 75 pages a day, and she read that for the first bit. So that was everything up to the last six days. So that means the time she was reading at 75 pages a day must be D minus 6. That's the period that she's reading. So she read 75 pages a day at, for D minus 6 days. So that's the number of pages she read during that day, plus the remaining 690. That would be the total number of pages N. So this has to equal 90 D. So we'll do a little multiplication. 75D equals 6 times 75, which is 450, plus 690 equals 90D. So first thing I'll do is I'll simplify this subtraction here. 690 minus 450, that gives 75D plus 240 equals 90D. Now I'll subtract 75D from both sides. And what I get is 240 equals 15D. And then doing a little division, what I get is D equals 16. And we can just check this number just to make sure. If she was going to read 90 pages a day for 16 days, that means that the total number of pages would be 90 times 16, which is 1440. And if she only read 75 pages a day for 10 days, that is to say 16 minus 6, then that means that she read 750 pages. And if we subtract, what did she have left? She had 690 pages left. So that checks. So this indeed is the number of pages, number of days that she had to read this assignment. Answer choice B.